this, I promise. What do you mean? <laughs> starting another weekly vlog because this worked out very well last week and i feel like i'll get a lot of done st a lot of stuff done <laughs> this week what time is it 9 it's currently 9 51 p.m today <laughs> was a very busy well not very busy but fairly busy content creating day so i filmed a video and then me and Brittany had our payback so which live show and now i'm filming this vlog and then after this i'm gonna edit so it's been a very content heavy day but it's been very nice i've been very sleepy recently um so it was also a very sleepy day but i persevered through my sleepiness and i got stuff done so this week i am very excited but also nervous for the reads that we have so we'll talk about those now currently i am still reading a gathering of shadows which i was reading in my last vlog and i feel like i've been reading this for a long time and i'm literally <laughs> almost done with it i'm on 93 percent from 88 percent to now just, like reading for like the last three to four days i will read like a chapter and then i'll stop for the night and then the next day i'll read another chapter or two and i'll stop because i'm very scared i know that it's about to get crazy and i wasn't sure exactly when it was going to but like the build-up was making me very very anxious and i'm like i'm very attached to these characters like i know them in real life and they are my children very stressed <laughs> but it's about to get even more scary the thing that i'm scared of is about to happen obviously since i'm at 93 percent and i am terrified <laughs> i need to read it because i want to get to a conjuring of light which i always say is my favorite book in the series but i know that it's very painful so why it's my favorite book in the series I don't really remember. I feel every single emotion in that book ever. And we're about to get to something that really hurts my feelings in this book and I'm not ready for it. <laughs> and I don't think I'm ever gonna be ready for it. We're probably gonna be finishing this either tonight or tomorrow. So I'm scared. But I feel like me taking the breaks in between is much needed because it gets so stressful. Even though for these characters, this all happens like in the span of one night, I just need more time to process, you know? I feel like I make it, I'm making it worse for myself by pushing it off. I just can't do it. I'm I'm too scared. That is <laughs> that's my dilemma. But I'm we're we're finishing it this week for sure. Hopefully tomorrow because I'm at 93%. I'm so close to the finish line. I just need to be brave. But I don't know if I can be brave. <laughs> so yeah. Moving on. I just read oh and in the first in the chapter I was on and I terrified. Progress that we have made. I have finished Wandering Witch Volume 1 and this was really cute. I enjoyed this a lot. It is just about this witch, Elena. She read a book when she was younger about a witch who travels and she has manifested that to happen in her own life. So this is all just about the tales and journeys that she goes on and it's so much fun and I think it's really cute. I have put a hold on Volume 2 and I can't wait to continue and see what else Elena gets up to. It is super cozy so if you're in the mood for like a cozy witchy story, definitely pick this one up. The last chapter of this one was so cute and there was like one specific page. I think I bookmarked it so I could sh tell you guys about it. It's frozen! What did it do? Is it not gonna let me see my bookmarks? Well, apparently my bookmark didn't save, so I'm just gonna have to flip back to it. It wasn't too far from the end. Okay, <laughs> this is the panel. Oh. Hang on, right. Where was it? I don't know how I flipped through those so fast. Oh, God, Rama. was laying on my lap. <laughs> it's so cute. She has her little head on my knee. Anyways, here is the panel that I was talking about. It is so cute and I just love what it says on it. She's basically talking to her mentor and and the witch is saying, learn to say when you don't like something, don't hide your true feelings and break your own heart. Become someone who is able to protect herself. And I just, I love that so much because Elena was like kind of put through a test of like doing things she didn't really want to do because her teacher just wanted to see like how she would take it. And Elena didn't speak up until she was at her breaking point. And so she's like telling her to like, she wants her to become like her own protector. And I just, I love that energy so much. So yeah, I finished that and I loved it so much. And then once I finished A Gathering of Shadows, we are going to get to A Conjuring of Light, which I kind of touched on a bit already but it is book three in the Shades of Magic series and I am absolutely terrified. <laughs> that book tortured me. The first time I read it I was actually at the dentist when I started it and something at the beginning happened that I didn't like and it pained me so much that I had to physically distance myself from it in public. Luckily nobody else was in the office except for like the receptionist. So I didn't feel too embarrassed but at that point I honestly didn't care because the book was just hurting me too much. So I had I put the book across the room in a chair so I could have a little bit of a breather because 
it was just it was just too much for my little heart to handle but my dad is going to be shipping out my copy and i'm very excited because i annotated that one it's been a while since i read a book where, that i've already annotated so i'm excited to see what past me thought and how future me will feel especially knowing what i like the knowledge that i have going into it um i'm a little bit scared can you hear me the book but this is all leading up to a specific vlog that i have in mind and i'm super excited because it is for fragile threads of power and this book just came out on september 26th today is october 2nd which happy october by the way i'm very excited that it's october but how is it already october no clue also i tried to get the sticker off but it won't come off so tomorrow i'm gonna use a blow dryer to try to get it off this is kind of like the fourth installment of the shades of magic series but it is separate it takes place in the same world as shades of magic and i did not know that lila has a pov in this book and i'm very excited to get more lila content i don't remember the state that the characters are left in at the end of the shades of magic series so i'm a little bit <laughs> nervous i think they were all okay for the most part hopefully but i know this one follows a new character and i'm pretty sure the magic that she has is different than what we've already seen so i'm excited to see that be dealt into also i'm very warm but this sweater looks really cute so i want to wear it but like i'm kind of kind of dying a little bit but this was actually a surprise gift from my boyfriend i didn't know that he was getting it for me because we went out on release day and then he's like oh i have to pick up something from target and i didn't piece it together because we did a curbside pickup she came out with the book and i was flabbergasted and i did not <laughs> i really was not expecting it so this was a very pleasant surprise and i'm so excited to add it to my beach swap collection and it's just it's everything the naked book looks stunning i mean come on look at that thing i don't know what the meaning of this is but i'm excited to learn i can't believe that i'm getting more shades of magic content because it's my favorite series ever i think that's about all that i have to update right now tomorrow is going to be kind of busy i think i need to make sure that my video is edited and ready to go up and then we have to run a couple errands and then we also have to bathe the dogs i'm going to be doing that so that is all that i have to update right now i'm going to edit my video for wednesday all as well as watch a little stream because shovel is streaming and i think she's decorating a pumpkin in minecraft which is the intel that i was given so i'm gonna do that and i will see you guys tomorrow so goodbye So, <laughs> I have unfortunate news. I ended up staying up very late last night. I'm saying 2.30 a.m. <laughs> and I did not <laughs> finish the gathering of shadows. Dare I say, I'm gonna finish it tonight. I hope <laughs> we're, okay, we're, I'm finishing it tonight, okay? Putting it out into the universe, we're finishing the gathering of shadows tonight. But last night I ended up just editing and just, I don't even know what else I did. <laughs> I think I was just just scrolling through my phone as one does. Um, Twitter is truly the reader killer. I can't update anything reading wise because I didn't do anything reading wise, but I can tell you about my day today if you want to know. We ended up being out all day, so we went to Target as you saw. Um, I did not get anything actually, but I'm pretty sure that I went through every single aisle <laughs> in Target. Aisles that I didn't have any business being in. I wanted to just see everything that Target had to offer, you know? It's been a while since I've just perused Target. So that was fun. And then we went to Walmart and I got a little notebook, which is over there and I don't feel like grabbing it, but I got a little notebook for writing and it's a little steno pad. So I'm going to be attempting to do a scene book, which Rachel Moore posted a video about. And I feel like it's going to be super helpful for me. If you're a writer as well and you want to learn more about the scene book, I'll have it linked in the description. It just seems like a lovely tool. Then Cora got a bath today. She was very cute. A little soggy pup. Oh, but this morning,
morning i also made pancakes i attempted to make pancakes last week i didn't enjoy them very much dev says they were good but i personally did not like them they were a little bit too thick i tried to eat it and i apparently never liked pancakes ever in my life because i could not finish my pancakes but i tried them again this morning and they tasted very very good thankful for that because i was very scared but i like pancakes again so <laughs> that's a good thing that's about it for my updates not a lot of updates but we're finishing this tonight i'm manifesting it and i'm putting it out into the universe i'm going to be finishing this i cannot stay up too late again today <laughs> um because we have to be up early tomorrow but we're finishing this we're finishing this i promise <laughs> Hello guys, I never filmed vlog, vlog clips where I'm holding my phone. It's not even that much later than the clip that I just filmed. I just finished The Gathering of Shadows and I wasn't expecting it to end like that. I was fully expecting there to be more pages. It, I was trying to flip to the next page and next thing I know, I'm in the acknowledgements. <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> what do you mean it's over i literally read the series before and i say that it's my favorite of all time but i did not remember <laughs> this book ending like this and i am upset i don't know what to do with myself now what am i supposed to do how am i supposed to sleep in these conditions <laughs> i'm very upset it ended very open-ended and literally no answers <laughs> i'm so scared <laughs> and i don't know what to do with myself now anyways love the series it's so good but why did the ishwab have to end this book like this i'm distraught and i don't know what to do with myself now <laughs> so yay i have had some time away from a gathering of shadows but i am still <laughs> reeling i cannot believe she ended it like that literally i've read this book before and i've read the series before but like i didn't i don't remember it ending like this and now i realize why i was so quick to read a conjuring of light after i finished this book the first time because <laughs> hello i ended up reading the acknowledgments normally i don't really read the acknowledgments which i kind of want to become an acknowledgments girly i read the acknowledgments on this one and she said that this was the first of her nine books that she published at the time where she had a cliffhanger and i feel like she has just been waiting <laughs> for her time to shine because what a cliffhanger that was like she knew how to do it with this one she really built it up and i feel like she was just waiting for the perfect time and she executed it very well also realize i'm not wearing my rings please hold okay i got them it was just waiting <laughs> for the perfect time to do it and she did it very well and i'm upset still so yay my book for our conjuring of light hasn't shipped out yet and i'm about to just buy it on kindle or just acquire it on my kindle because i do not think i can wait i tried to read another book last night before bed just so i could relax a little bit i could not <laughs> i couldn't focus on anything other than what happened in this book and how i just needed more i just need to know that my children <laughs> these characters are okay and well i'll probably need to physically distance myself from the book again because i know what happens at the beginning and i know that my heart won't be able to take it but i just can't wait i can't wait any longer <laughs> i tried to read a little bit this morning but i don't think i can read anything unless it is a conjuring of light like i just i can't do it I can't go into a book with other characters in mind knowing what happened to these ones and the state that they're in. I just can't do it. This is from Cora. She bit me very hard the other day and it's lovely. It looks like I got bit by a vampire. That is what has been happening. I I can't read anything else until I get a conjuring of light. So I'm gonna I'm a figure something out. I got to sleep in this morning, thankfully. I know I said last night I had to wake up early, but I was able to sleep in and it was wonderful. I feel like I needed those extra hours of sleep. Slept okay, but I didn't sleep the best. You know, it wasn't quality sleep. I think I had a weird dream, but I don't remember it. My, my dreams have been on another level recently. They've just been very odd. I don't know what that means. I'm also 
I'm gonna be brave and I think I'm gonna start a writing vlog today. I've talked about writing like very very briefly on my channel but not like super in depth and I don't think I'll ever get in depth into like what my story is about because I always have underlying uh, underlying fear that someone else is gonna take my idea and write it better <laughs> than I ever could so I'm gonna keep that to myself but I kind of want to share my writing journey and I'm low-key I have a very small tentative plan to do NaNoWriMo next month and I feel like doing a writing vlog for the whole month of October for prepping for it will help hold me accountable a little bit. And then I'm probably going to write tonight and edit this vlog a little bit. I also completely forgot that I had a video go up today. Um, Kirsten messaged me. She's like, oh my gosh, I knew Alyssa video. I was like, wait, <laughs> totally forgot that I scheduled that. I love scheduling my videos, but at the same time, I hate it because I forget that I do it. Um, so thank you, Kirsten, for reminding me <laughs> that I uploaded a video today. You're a real one. That is all that has been happening. I can't read anything else until I get a conjuring of light. So <laughs> we're gonna figure that out. Um, I'm going to go do some writing and I will see you guys. <laughs> Bye. I fell off pretty hard with this vlog, not gonna lie. It was so chatty at the beginning, I feel like I didn't really get much b-roll, and I kind of just forgot about it. <laughs> but, hi guys. So, it has been like a week since I started this vlog. It is now Tuesday of the next week, and I think it's about time to close out this vlog. Also, I'm sitting next to a window and they are open, so if you hear background noises, I apologize. It did get a little bit busy there towards the middle of the week because we started dog sitting for one of our friends. So we were just making sure that the little guy was adjusted, making sure that Lexi and Cora would adjust to him. Um, and things have been going pretty well. He is fitting in very well. Cora is obsessed with him. Um, and I'm pretty sure they are best friends and it is like the cutest thing ever. I'm gonna wait for the neighbor to bring their trash in. <laughs> but other than that, the week has been pretty uneventful. I have started up writing again, which I briefly talked about. I said I was gonna start my writing vlog and I didn't start it that night when I said I was going to, but I think I will for real, for real, <laughs> start it today. It's been really cold, it's been gloomy, which is fantastic. We love a good gloom, cold weather. It was really, really hot there for a little bit. I think, I don't remember if it was at the beginning of this week or last week, but it was a little toasty. So I'm very happy that the weather has cooled down. I'm gonna finally wear sweats and hoodies, which are like my favorite things ever. So it's, I'm in my era, <laughs> I'm in my prime. Reading updates wise, I haven't talked about reading in a long time. I was very passionate <laughs> about A Gathering of Shadows there for a second, and I still can't believe that's how it ended. I don't think I'm ever gonna get over that. I probably will once it's like four years down the line and I haven't read it and I will reread and remember <laughs> so you'll see it happen over again it's a vicious cycle i tried reading two other books and I, it was hunting for Dracula and i think a dangerous peril the fourth book in the veronica's beetle series i tried reading two books um and it just felt illegal to read anything other than a conjuring of light so <laughs> i got it on my kindle i literally couldn't wait any longer i couldn't read anything else i did not want to risk going into a reading slump so i just got it on my Kindle, best decision of my life. So I am 28% through, I believe. Let me check for you. Oh, 29% through, I lied. The first few chapters, I had to take a break between every one or two because it was just too much. But then once it got to a certain point, I just, I didn't want to stop reading it. And I feel like I'm farther into the book than I am, but it is a really hefty book. Um, I feel like it, I think it's over 600 pages, which is kind of wild and I don't remember it being that long because the first time I read it, I feel like I was reading like at the speed of light. So maybe it was that long. Well, it is that long. <laughs> it's not a maybe. But this one, I am realizing that I remember a lot more about compared to the first and the second one. And I think that's in part 
due to the fact that this was like the most recent one I read and I also heavily annotated it my first read through so I feel like that helped with my remembrance. I currently just read an a la carte scene that really hurt my soul and that one I remembered but it still hurt the same amount as it did the first time and I don't think it's ever going to hurt any any less. We are getting a lot more point of views in this book which I kind of forgot about but I'm very grateful for it because we're seeing everyone's perspective on this thing that is happening. This book I literally I don't think I can talk about at all because it spoils everything so I'm not gonna like go too in-depth but I'll give you like brief things if that makes sense. We're getting point of views of characters we haven't had point of views of previously and we're also just seeing a lot more of characters that were introduced in the previous books which the way that Ishwab did that I feel like is very well because she introduced the characters but they weren't really seen but there was like this aura around them that made you feel like they came into play more in the later books which they definitely did. A lot of the characters that are introduced if you're first reading make sure you pay attention to all of them because all of them are significant. You don't think they will because they seem like very minor characters but they are very important. <laughs> okay, I think this still stands as my favorite book in the series because there's just something about it and it's so action-packed literally from the first page non-stop action like we haven't gotten a break we haven't gotten a breather and it's only been like two days <laughs> and I feel so bad for the characters because I have been taking my sweet time with this because I need time to process it but they don't got the time to process like they just gotta go through it and it's like literally two days <laughs> so far and they they have no choice but to go through it me over here <laughs> I'm taking my sweet time wish I could have done more reading of a conjuring of light in this one but if I do another vlog, you'll see my thoughts. And definitely in my wrap-up, you'll see everything. <laughs> Loving this book so far. And if you still haven't read the Shades of Magic series, I 100 a million percent recommend that you read it. It is the best. I don't know if it's marketed as like a high fantasy, but it's very fantastical. But the way that V. Schwab says it and like just does it, um, it's very easy to digest. So I feel like it like it has a little bit of something in it for everybody. Amazing, amazing. Perfect. So other than that, this week, um, we went to the mall yesterday. That was really fun. We went to Spirit Halloween. I didn't show one of the things that scared me the most. There was like this little figure thing. You know, like how like there's these Halloween things where you like step on it and it like activates them. There was one like that, but it was like this girl and she had like a really long neck and she had like a child head and Dev stepped on the thing and it didn't go off. So I thought it was just defective. So I walked in front of it and it jumped out at me and I felt my soul leave my body. That was the most terrifying thing ever. I just wanted to leave after that. We didn't though, we looked at masks and then I smelled like mask for so long because I tried a couple on and like the smell of the plastic like lingered forever. It was kind of gross. <laughs> I was able to get it off thankfully. I don't smell like mask anymore. I haven't been to Halloween stores like ahead of time like before halloween i normally go like really close to halloween when like they're almost out of everything but it was so cool to like see it full there was so much things to look at there and it was a very good time i love halloween <laughs> i don't really do much for halloween but i love the vibes i think that's it i think that's all i gotta say i think that's it for this vlog um i apologize that i fell off but you know things happen life happens let me know what you guys read this week um and if you've read a darker shade of magic let me know i love to talk about this book and these characters hope your fall is going well if you've made it to this point in the video i love you so so much comment down below a jack-o-lantern emoji <laughs> all of my socials will be linked in the description as always and i will see you guys in my next video goodbye take care